When hiring your first few UX professionals, it's tempting to look for folks who can do all the things. In fact, there are many UX generalist job descriptions out there that feel miles long, desperately searching for someone to check every single box. Don't mistake UX generalists for unicorns. Instead, when you're building out a new UX team, it's best to start by hiring a few generalists that are able to flex to meet the needs of several different types of projects. These generalists should be T-shaped and have complementary skills to each other. A T-shaped UX professional is someone who has deep competency in a particular area while also having high-level knowledge or skills in several other areas. For example, I might have a designer who primarily focuses on visual design, but also has high-level skills in qualitative research and data analysis to run small-scale studies. I could also have a researcher who primarily focuses on quantitative research, but also has high-level skills in content strategy and information architecture. And maybe a UX engineer who primarily focuses on prototyping, while also being able to facilitate internal workshops and dabble a little bit in visual design. If you can find a few generalists like these that have overlapping skills, this small team will be able to flex to meet a wide range of needs, as opposed to a team of, say, three quantitative researchers who would really only be able to do specific types of studies as a team. Then, as this small team of T-shaped UX professionals takes on more work, you'll start to notice specific skills or tasks that come up again and again. That's where you can start to fill in the team with specialists. For example, let's bring back that same team of three generalists from before. As they start doing more and more work, I might notice that they're consistently being asked to facilitate workshops with clients. My team of three can do this work, but they'd probably benefit from adding a specialist to the team who can organize and run these workshops while my generalists help out in a smaller capacity. But I'm not adding a specialist immediately until I know that work is highly sought after in the organization. It's important to note that these generalists or T-shaped UX professionals we're talking about are not unicorns. We're not asking our UX team members to know and do anything and everything UX related. Just like unicorns are mythical creatures, UX folks who can do every UX skill under the sun with deep competency in each one also only exist in folklore. Well-rounded UX teams aren't built overnight and it'll take time for them to grow and learn from each other. Start by looking for two to three generalists with complementary skill sets, then fill in the areas that need additional attention with specialists. Before you know it, you'll have a highly competent team able to truly collaborate and do great work. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more of our UX videos, take a look at these over here and consider subscribing to our channel. On our website, enengroup.com, you can access our free library of over 2,000 articles. You can also register for one of our virtual UX conferences that offer live, hands-on UX training.